Why am I down here? Why is my hair blue? Or, or, or some of it. I don't know. But it's Doctor Who, isn't it? So anything can happen. Can't it? Um, so today um, I'm here. Well, not actually here, but I'm just Lewis a few minutes back in time. Um, and uh, in a few minutes I will be going up and uh, I will be discussing what worked and what didn't in the Peter Capaldi era of Doctor Who. So from Deep Breath um, to the untitled 2017 Christmas special, or let's just say to the Doctor Fools. So let's go up to the hub and um, uh, let's answer that question, should we? So um, let's answer that question that a um, few minutes ago, Lewis, uh, pondered to you um, through the mystery of time travel itself. What worked and what didn't in the Peter Capaldi era of Doctor Who? Well, let's start with the positive, shall we? It was great, wasn't it? It was amazing. Um, I loved the Capaldi era. I adored it, to be honest. Um, it, it was brilliant. Um... You know, it was one of the... St I think, as a whole, it was one of the strongest series we've ever had. And Peter Capaldi is probably the strongest actor to have ever played the role of the Doctor. Uh, now, maybe that's going a bit too far. Um, maybe it isn't. But, um, yeah, Peter Capaldi, um, maybe the second best Doctor himself. But you have to admit, guys, that he probably is the best actor to play the Doctor. Probably better than any of these people. Although, all of them are wonderful. Um, Tom Baker's still the, the best Doctor, but Peter Capaldi comes close. As he's, he's been an exceptional Doctor. I started off um, with everyone else, actually, uh, in the younger generations. Or most people in the younger generations of fans who thought, oh, Matt Smith's gone, um, he was the best Doctor, nobody could ever replace him. Um, and then Peter Capaldi, uh, and I was really angry at Peter Capaldi, and then he comes along in the first series, he becomes one of my favourite Doctors. Um, and now I'm like, you can't, um, no, Peter Capaldi's one of my favourite Doctors, you can't replace him, nobody can replace him. Then Jodie Whittaker comes along. I'm sure I'll have the same case in a few years when she comes to regenerate. Although I'm not too sure of her at the current position of time. But um, I really um, I have really enjoyed the Capaldi era. It's had some weak points, but we must admit Peter Capaldi has had no weak points. He has been so strong from the start at Deep Breath in 2014 to the very beginning. What didn't work, perhaps, is that because he's an older Doctor, and perhaps because of some of his characteristics and some of his personalities, he didn't really work to some of the um, younger viewers, so excluding me. Um, so um, he was quite unpopular with some younger fans um which is such a shame he he made them stop watching it some of them and it, it it's such a shame because he's such a brilliant actor oh dear he's such a brilliant actor and such a brilliant um doctor that um people don't appreciate as much as they should do um it's just such a shame um i love um Peter Capaldi um, as the Doctor um, and I, I really hate to say that he was sort of underrated by some people just because he was just because of his age I said we need yeah uh, we need a, a younger sort of David Tennant Matt Smith-esque age so sort of late 20s early 30s sort of age um, Doctor um, a male but we got female instead, which could still entice the viewers. I think it would be a very hard job. No, uh, in the words of Matt Lucas, no man can replace 
Peter Capaldi. So um, that's uh, why what worked and what didn't in the Peter Capaldi era. Obviously, I loved it. Some people didn't love it, but most people did in the fandom. Um, what did you think of the Peter Capaldi era? What worked? What didn't? Uh, and what did you think of it? Um, perhaps some of the episodes weren't too strong, but perhaps his acting was, or vice versa. Please comment below um, with what you think worked and what didn't. We love to hear your comments. Um, not so much the uh, horrible hater comments, though. Um, <laughs> so, um, but we don't really get them. So, um, thank you for tuning in. Um, it, I've been Lewis Moon. Um, I don't know whether I'll get a chance, probably, uh, to do an SDCC video about all of the latest news released from the panel. Uh, the title should be announced today, because uh, it's SDCC today on the Doctor Who panel from 2pm. So if you're in um, uh, at San Diego, uh, you're probably not watching this video, but um, it's coming at 2pm, just to remind you. Um, but uh, there should be a new footage, whether we get it or whether it's just the people at San Diego who get it. And we now know that Mark Gattis will be in the Christmas special as some character. You know, he makes these occasional guest appearances, um, like in Lazarus Experiment and in Wedding of River Song. So we'll see. Um, but I won't be doing a video next Sunday because I'll be in London for the uh, Comic Con. Um, but uh, I'll be back on, uh, uh, at some point this week, perhaps with two videos. Uh, modern series ranking and if we get much SDCC panel news for the Christmas special, I'll do that. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you on this week at some point. Um, and see you soon. Goodbye.